Hi friends, it's Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're going to be doing, we are going to be doing a money activity. And we're going to be focusing on using the least amount of coins in order to make that particular amount. So before we get started, let's review our coins. So let's start with the smallest value, which is obviously our penny worth one cent. Let's kick it up a notch. Let's go to my next smallest value, which would be our nickel worth five cents. Then we're getting larger. Here's our next coin, dime, 10 cents. And then the biggest coin that we're gonna be using in this lesson today is our quarter and he's worth 25. So granted when you're dealing with different kind of coin amounts, you could make them in a multiple types of ways, okay? You can make them all with pennies. You can make them with dimes, nickels, and pennies. You can make them with quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies. It all depends on the amount that you have, obviously. So we're gonna start with the amount 38 cents. So when you see 38 cents, notice how I have it written two different ways on my board. I have it with a simple cent sign, which goes after my amount. And then I have it with a dollar sign and a decimal point. Then I have my amount. So it's written a little differently. The dollar sign decimal point is gonna be good, especially when you're gonna be starting to incorporate dollars. So this is our little bit more of a grown up way to write 38 cents versus our more simple way, which is using a cent sign. So how do I wanna make 38 cents using the least amount of coins? So if you check this out up here, it's kind of like my little cheat sheet. So what I have here, I have amounts. And attached to those amounts are going to be the number of quarters that I'm going to need in order to make that amount possible. Because when you're thinking about least amount of coins, you want the smallest amount of coins. So you need to start with some bigger coin values in order to make that amount because you want the least amount of coins possible. So if I'm looking at 38 cents, I'm looking in this range because if I wanna use one quarter, that means the amount I'm making is between 25 cents and 49. So if I'm thinking where 38 lies, it's going to be in between those two. So that means I'm gonna start with one quarter. And there we have it. But now we need to start incorporating and adding on other coins to get me to 38 cents. Because right now I'm only at 25. So I have to get from here to here. So think, first thing I wanna do, can I incorporate a dime? Because now I wanna start with my largest and now work my way down to see exactly what's gonna get me to my total amount the quickest because that's going to be the least. So now if I'm at 25 cents, I'm thinking about a dime because if I'm at 25 and I go 10 more cents, then I'm going to be at 35. So that dime is going to work for me. Let's think about, should I incorporate a nickel? Well, let's see if I'm at 35 right now and I want to incorporate a nickel, that's another five cents. One, two, three, four, five. That's not going to work because it's going to take me past my 38. So my next obvious coin that I need to use is going to be my pennies. Because I'm at 35 right now, I have to get to 38. So it's going to be how many pennies? One, two, three. So here we go. Let me get my three pennies on there. So now let's go ahead and count it. We're going to count it the best way that we can using those values. 25. 10 more is 35. And then three more is 36, 37, 38. 
So just because you have an amount doesn't mean that you're going to use every single type of coin. This is going to be the least amount right now because I used all the coins necessary to get me from my 25 cents to my 38 perfectly. So hold tight. I'm going to get us a new amount. Okay, and we're back. So now we're looking at 57 cents. So let's take a look at my little cheat sheet here. So 57 cents, what range are we going to be dealing with here? Where does 57 lie? Is it between 25 and 49? No, because 57 is greater than 49. Does it lie between 50 and 74? Yep, because 57 is only seven more after 50. So it's right in here. So that means I'm going to need two quarters. Because when you think about two quarters, if you're thinking about your quarter combinations, one quarter is 25, like we did in our last one. Two quarters gives me 50. So now I'm at 50. So I have to get from here to here. So that's only a difference now of seven cents. So think about it. Am I going to need a dime? Because a dime is worth 10. So if I start here and I, let me see, let me think about adding a dime. Nope. It's going to be already more than what I need. So therefore, it's not going to work. What's my next option? A nickel. Remember, a nickel is five. So if I'm here, let's see where we go with five more. One, two, three, four, five. Fifty-five. So that would definitely help us. That will definitely work because I had to get to 57. So let's put a nickel up there. So now I'm at 55. I have to get to 57. So my other option are my pennies. So I'm at 55. One, two more is going to give me that 57. So therefore, I'm going to need two pennies. So let's go ahead and count it. I have the two quarters, the nickel, and the two pennies. So here we go. 25, 50, 55, 56, 57. There we go. Again, we didn't need every single coin here. Hold tight though. We got one more to do. Okay, and we're back. So check out the amount that I have now. 91. 91. So now, that really bumps it up from 57, doesn't it? So now, how many quarters am I going to need? So let's look at our little cheat sheet again. So definitely, I just used one that had two quarters, 50 to 74. I'm looking at 91. That's definitely more than 74. So I think I might be looking at three quarters now because this is between 75 cents and 99. 91 is right there. That comes before 99. So this is going to work. So now i got to get three quarters. There we have it. So now if you know your quarter combinations, we just did one that had one quarter, one that had two. Now we have one that has three. So here we go. We want to count them. 25, 50, 75. So now here on my chart, I'm at 75. I need to get to 91. So let's think now. My next option would be a dime. So let's see. If I'm at 75, would a dime help? It gets me to 85. It's definitely going to help. What about if I maybe stick another dime in there? If I get another 10. Oh, takes me to 95. Takes me more than what I need. 
So definitely one dime's gonna work. So now I'm at 85. Would a nickel help? Let's see. Let's count five more. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it's still before 91. So if I'm at 85, if I add that nickel, it's going to get me to 90. Yeah, that's going to work. So now I'm at 90. I got to get to 91. What do you think I need now? I think he's at it. One penny. So let's go ahead and count. 25, 50, 75, 10 more is 85, 5 more is 90, and one more is 91. So again, that is going to be my least amount of coins possible. Remember, when we want to build with least amount of coins, we want to start with the largest possible coin value. And it depends on the amount that you have will be dependent on what you're going to start with. So I would kind of use this little cheat sheet as a help. It gives you that idea of where I need to start. Also, it's really good to review those quarter combinations counting out those quarters. One quarter, 25, two quarters, 50, three quarters, 75, four quarters, $1. Now granted, all of our amounts were be below a dollar, which is fine, but maybe we could go up into over a dollar. That's something that you could definitely practice. You are gonna be going into that next, but right now stick with amounts that are below a dollar. Practice that counting because remember, you're counting 25s, 10s, 5s, 1s. So you need that time for your brain to adjust a little bit for that skip count. So boys and girls, I hope you liked our little lesson on making least amount of coins. I would encourage you again to continue to practice at home and make some amounts there too. So I will be talking to you again. Have a great day, everybody. Bye now.